This song is called My Pony and Me, and it's the name of the tape. And it's about a, a, a travelling family who were snowed up near the bottom of Ingleborough Mountain one winter and having it pretty hard with all the chickens and little children and dogs and nanny goats and ponies and things. And things were a bit rough, and they, the only real way of earning a living around there was to try and get out and collect a bit of scrap from the farms and places. There, there was a, a man, God rest his soul, called Bill Hook, who used to run a small scrapyard in, in the town of Ingleton. And he would, uh, if you went out with your pony cart and gathered up all the old rubbish and stuff from around the farms, he would always buy it off you and give you something for it. So, it, uh, however hard it was for these people, it never stopped them singing about it around the fire at night. It's not a miserable song, and yet it's... Uh, it's a nasty position they were in. So I used it, my pony and me. It was snowing hard and blowing so bad. The roughest day that I'd ever found. My legs, they were stiff and my finger ends froze. Ice was growing on my ears and my nose. But we had no money to feed the kids. So out on the car I did go Well, I called a few farms and some houses as well Up to the door and my tail I did tell Have you any scrap iron, old furniture or junk? It's not too bad, dear will I never get drunk I'm trying to earn an honest living, you see Out in all weather, my pony and me Out in all weather, my pony and me I got a washing machine and a spindle back chair Three fire grates and a mattress repair Two stone of lead and a decent bill hook and all this collecting for hours it took. Some bits of scrap they were close to the ground. Trying to really stem I quite quickly found. My fingers were stuck like a magnet of steel. Oh, can't you imagine? Oh, just how I'd have been. Out in all weather, my pony and me. Well, they've stopped snowing now, but the wind is still blowing. Out of east, that's home I'd go. I stopped by a farm tip on the way to the camp. I'd look there and try to find something like a lamp. Or some scrap or old junk that someday I could sell. To make an honest living, oh, so we could live well. Well, my luck it was in, there was a nice bit of stuff I'll go in now that I've got enough Stop iron the metals to draw a few quits We can go and buy some food now For us and the kids Two pounds and shillings I got for the lot It was a nice bit of money More than that I've got Out in all weather my pony and me Out in all weather My pony and me Oh, 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 oh My pony and me Oh, 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 oh My pony and me I call this song Don't Care For Motors And Trailers Because I don't To, to be honest with you I like horses And, and wagons and, and dogs And chickens And things So this This is a, a Really true thing About about myself um, I'm real sad About the old ways Going And the new things Coming in But never mind You, you can't help it But you can uh, You can live In a kind of a dream Sometimes I suppose it's a dream My daughter wrote The last verse of this one And she's playing The mandolin on this song <laughs> They don't care for motors and trailers For the dusters and polythene backs And if ever it gets short of tuggies He can get some more out of the rack He's got grises, he's got chuckles and cannies 
The shushies and cunning that are sung then He don't give a damn when he's jamming the drum Just as long as he gets to the fair Well, he don't care for motors, he don't care for trailers For the dusters and polythene bags And if ever he gets short of tuggies He can get some more out of the rank Now he's going to trade with them gorgeous with the gypsies and travelling men soon But if nobody comes around here He'll have a deal with the man in the moon He don't care for motors He don't care for trailers For the dusters and polythene bags And if ever he gets short of tuggies He can get some more out of the rank He's got seven horses a grazing, each with a mouthful of grass. The children will yoke one and come home with a cartload of rags, iron and brass. This next verse is English version of the one that you didn't understand. He's got horses and dogs, he's got chickens. There's rabbits and hares all hung there. He don't really care when he's on the road Just as long as he gets to the fair Cause he don't care for motors He don't care for trailers For the dusters and polythene bags And if ever he gets short of tuggies He can get some more out of the rack He don't care for motors and trailers For the dusters and polythene bags and if ever he gets short of tuggies, he can get some more out of the rats. This is the song of the, of the travelling people. It's called the Romany Rye. There's several versions of it. I might just add that in this song, when it comes to the part that you don't understand, it's because the uh, the wording is in the Romany language. And... Uh, what it means is like it's it's the woman saying to the children, "Oh, yeah, be quiet, just stop it, because you, your father's trying to sell a man a horse here, you know, just trying to calm him down a bit, quiet and the excitement. It isn't that I've forgotten the words and I'm improvising out like that. So when you come to the bits you don't understand, you know what's happening. Um, incidentally, this will be being sung every day of the year, somewhere in the British Isles, in a in a tent or in a caravan or in a lane or in a public house." There'll be somebody whistling or humming this tune or singing the words of the song. Uh, the two, the first two verses are traditional ones. The last verse is one that my wife and I have added to it to just to keep it going a bit longer and, and make it some extra to it. But it's definitely the song belonging to the traveling people. It's called the Roman Era.
I'm a deluded kind I hawk in the daytime I'm singing the night I'm still camping around On any old ground And that's why they call me The Roman era Uh, this this song is called You Better Wait Outside and I think everything in the song explains what it means uh, anybody who's been at the wrong side of the the desk in the police station will probably realise uh, not as I have very often myself and I never have for, for doing anything particularly wrong to be honest and truthful but uh, you seem to if you'd no reflector on your bicycle you would definitely be treated as a first class criminal in some police stations so we call this, you better wait outside. You better wait outside or in your caravan, but you can't wait in here while we question your man. You better wait outside or in your caravan But you can't wait in here While we question your man Oh, it may take an hour Or it may take a week It all depends what he says When we ask him to speak You better wait outside or in your caravan Cause you can't wait in here While we question your man And if he tells us the name Of all of his friends Then an hour lasts a minute and soon it all ends See, you better wait outside or in your caravan Cause you can't wait in here While we question your man You better wait outside or in your caravan Cause you can't wait in here While we question your man And if he uses his rights to remain silent Or see how slow Time can go You better wait outside Or in your caravan Cause you can't wait in here While we question your man You better wait outside Or in your caravan Cause you can't wait in here while we question your man This is a traditional song, I, th I think it's an Irish song called Paddle Me Own Canoe. I've heard, I've heard it done by, by Irish bands and, and Irish singers. Um, anybody that knows me or has anything to do with me will probably understand why it is that I've I've written my own story in the middle of it. I started off as a, as a traditional song and I finish off as traditional. But I wrote my own story in the middle. Oh, well, I had a good wife to fly in my life and I loved the good and true. She left me alone all on my own to paddle me own canoe. Paddle me own canoe, me boy, paddle me own canoe. She left me alone all on me own to paddle me own canoe. Oh, well, I had a big horse that wouldn't have caused me to pull me things around. He ran away on one Sunday, never again to be found. Never again to be found, me boys, never again to be found. He ran away on one Sunday, never again to be found. I 
a plenty of milk for more than a night to make good old nanny goat. But along came a hound, not making a sound, and grabbed it by the throat. Grabbed it by the throat, me boys, grabbed it by the throat. Along came a hound, not making a sound, and grabbed it by the throat. Well, if look about number of singing this song, and I hope you'll all agree, I shouldn't be tired, I should be glad I can hear and speak to see. Hear and speak to see me, boys, hear and speak to see. I shouldn't be tired, I should be glad I can hear and speak to see. And now I had a good wife, the time in life, and I loved her good and true. She left me alone, all on me own, to paddle me own canoe. Paddle me own canoe, me boy, paddle me own canoe. She left me alone, all on me own, to paddle me own canoe. Paddle me own canoe, me boy, paddle me own canoe. She left me alone, all on me own, to paddle me own canoe. This is a song I wrote about my favourite dog. Well, I mean, every dog's your favourite dog while you've got it, but this is a particular... She's not with us anymore, and it's not as if I'm wanting everybody to cry or anything like that and be sentimental, but we thought a lot about this stuff. It's funny how you can forgive a dog for things they've done at times as well, because they're like children, aren't they? Anyway, this is it. It's called Bella. Get here now, Bella, I shouted and screamed, but it was too late, the sheep she had seen. She saw it before as I walked up the lane, but being close to me when I called her, she came, but not this time. Oh, no, not this time. It was on the way back as I tended my goat, she spotted it, jumped and grabbed it by the throat. Her teeth sunk in deep and before you could speak She'd made the poor thing take a permanent sleep Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear For two years I've been trying to make this dog sing She can be such a good bitch and then she's a pain About every two months that I guess I would say Just seems to go death think I'll give her away But not this time Oh, no, not this time. Bobby right said the farmer who belonged the sheep Came along with his gun and shot a lead in so deep He'd be doing right far as he was concerned Though just as it seemed, revenge to be earned But not this time, oh no, not this time However you think though it won't be much fun To keep her tied up when she's been for a run down the field twice a day, most of her life Don't know what to do, and neither does the wife Oh, not this time, oh no, not this time So the rest of her life was spent on a chain Oh, how she struggled and how she was strained Then early one morning I was woke from my bed She jumped the hype and she was hung, she was dead
They asked us if we would travel down into Hampshire to meet up with Peter. This song is called the Ingram Song. It's a song I wrote about a very good pal of mine who runs the, the Romany Folklore Museum in, in Selborne in Hampshire. And uh, a few years ago, TVS wanted to make a, a documentary film about travelling people and, and uh, traditional things like that. It's a, it's a folklore film. So they asked us if we would travel down into Hampshire to meet up with Peter Ingram, who we'd never seen for years. And on the way they said, would we write a song for him? Uh, this is the song we wrote. One thing I better tell you, there's been a bit of a joke between me and Pete for a lot of years about who could make the best clothes pegs, and I can make better clothes pegs than him. So, but no offence, he can do everything else better than me. <laughs> In this song, the, the, you may come to one or two words that you don't understand. That there are only words that, that refer to, to different animals, you know, so... Uh, Use your imagination. <laughs> Peter Ingram, Peter Ingram, once he used to roam till he came in to Selborne to make limes and yard his home. Oh, he built up a museum so that all could see. Just how in England the gypsies used to be He can hunt with a catapult like not many can do He'll can England and Shushi to put into his stew at the step dance, he's so clever, he keeps good time with his feet. He can play the bones, make them sound a real treat. He's a cart builder too He can make the roughest wagon Look just like brand new He can fiddle up the grind When it's lost a shoe But he don't make the clothes pegs Like a McDowell and a Say song and make it sound really good. He makes baskets and buckets from all kinds of wood. Sits for hours around the fire like a traveling man should. He's preserved a tradition like only he could. He's preserved a tradition. Like only Pete Cole. I wrote this song for all the birds and the flowers and the trees and all the animals in the world. And uh, most especially for my daughter, Diane. And I call it Diane's Song. This morning wrens, blue tits and sparrows gathered around my door They'd come to see what tasty bits I might have in the store Cause when I fed the chickens, the dogs and the parrots too Small pieces are forgotten these bits are for you, my fair friends Who brighten up 
Each day that comes along Your colors, actions, normal ways Your bright and cheerful song If everyone did realize Each day that comes along The best things in life don't trust anything But oh, you think I'm a wrong Margaret Thatcher Or a Wilson Or any other politician Whose only aim is progress Wealth and acquisition Now nature's wealth and beauty Can satisfy the soul The hunger and the yearning from the elephant to the mole But as man destroys each day more Of what has been freely given And has the cheek to think he has The right to be forgiven Those who are now left Can but put straws for their survival and hope and pray that things might change before next spring's arrival. I hope tomorrow, Rams, blue tits and sparrows will gather around my door. Come and see what tasty bits I might have in the store. Cause when I find the chickens, the dogs and the ferrets too, all pieces are forgotten I wrote this song for you This song is about the traditional travelling man who, who doesn't really care for all the way modern things are going and it's called Westman Star The Westman Star was about the most expensive trailer caravan that you could buy but this fella still prefers his ponies and his old dog and things, you know so he sings about it, you know, that's me. <laughs> oh, what care I for a Westland star? Oh, what care I for a brand new car? I'm going to the fair with me horse and dog. Not 50 mile an hour, just a steady jog. I've travelled east, I've travelled west. I've been to the fairs that I like best. That's Bentham, Topcliffe, Whitworth too. If you buy a dozen pegs, love, God bless you. Oh, what care I for a Westland star, and what care I for a brand new car? I'm going to the fair with me horse and dog, not fifty mile an hour, just a steady jog. Oh, we've all wintered here, we've all wintered there, and we get through without much care. The spring comes late when you're on the moon, but it won't be very long before we're by the loom. So what care I for a Westland star, and what care I for a brand new car? I'm going to the fair with me horse and dog, not fifty mile an hour, just a steady jog. Now there's travelling men of every breed, with your eyes to fulfil every need. But the one I like above the rest is me red and white mare, cause she's the best. Oh, what care I for a Westland star? Oh, what care I for a brand new car? I'm going to the fair with me horse and dog. Not fifty mile an hour, just a steady jog. This song I call the Hawthorn and the Clover. It's, it's about two very important things in my life. One, the Hawthorn tree, and the other one is the clover plant. Uh, the Hawthorn tree can can actually give you something to eat every day of the year, summer and winter, if you're stuck. You know, I mean, you're more likely to go out and earn some money and take the money to the shop and buy some food, but there's all kinds of things about that you can eat and survive if necessary. And the hawthorn is one of the trees that'll help you do so. The clover, it uh, is very good for the horses. It makes the pony strong to pull the load. And the thing is that everywhere I go, I see less and less hawthorn and clover. All done in the name of progress, and this is my song of the hawthorn and the clover. Good luck 
to the tent and the old caravan The tinker and the gypsy and the traveling man Good luck to his horses, his kettle and his pan Good luck to the hawthorn and the clover I have traveled this land, I've been near, I've been far I won't swap me horse for a new motor car Good luck to God's children, whoever they are Good luck to the hawthorn and the clover Good luck to the tent and the old caravan The tinker and the gypsy and the traveling man Good luck to his horses, his cattle and his pan Good luck to the hawthorn and the clover With me horse and me dog I can go a long way I don't listen much to what them politicians say We know what's wrong but they say it's okay Good luck to the hawthorn and the clover Gigantic tractors to mess up the ground They can speak really nice, but that's not very sound They call it redevelopment, but they seem duty-bound To destroy the hawthorn and the clover They'll destroy the hawthorn and the clover So good luck to the tent and the old caravan The tinker and the gypsy and the traveling man Good luck to his horses, his cattle and his pan. Good luck to the hawthorn and the clover. This this song is called the London Beggar Girl. It's a it's a song that I wrote. Uh, well, it's about a beggar girl in London. And uh, not in 1850, somebody or other or whatever, but it's 1990, you know. Uh, it's a song that I wrote about this girl in particular because uh, I walked down the Strand in London one night at about half past eleven and I was literally tripping up over young people who were sleeping in cardboard boxes and, and sleeping bags and things. And uh, I realised that you'll always get dropouts and you'll always get people who prefer to live rough and you'll always get this sort of thing. But when you're tripping over them, the, the problem is serious. And I got a bit involved with these people uh, through a man called Mr. Kilroy, who does a programme on the BBC television. And uh, I got a bit serious about this. Uh, it really touched my heart, you know. And I wrote this song about this girl. It's called Michelle. Michelle on the street With nothing to eat No roof no floor She can't get a job She can't get on the door Sometimes she wonders What life's for She walks up and down Often with a frown Hoping someone Will give her money Michelle No name you may as well be I don't think That's very funny Michelle No name I'd give you pain, the Lord only knows you deserve it. Michelle, no name, I'd give you pain, now that we know you are worth it. Michelle, no name, you're not to blame. Thrown from her home, no fault of her own. Alone on the street she does go Sometimes she gets lucky Somebody does help Sometimes she's got nothing to show If ever you see her Don't pass her by 
Remember, she's one of God's children. We shall not name Mary cousin you to show how important you are. Princess Michelle, I give you fame. The Lord only knows you deserve it. Princess Michelle, I give you fame. Now that we know you are worth it. Princess Michelle, now that's your name. She was thrown from her home, no fault of her own. In hope, on the street she does go. Sometimes she gets lucky, somebody does help. Sometimes she's got nothing to show. If ever you see her, don't pass her by. Remember, she's one of God's children. We shall not name Mary Christen you to show how important you are. Princess Michelle, oh, I give you fame. The Lord only knows you deserve it. Princess Michelle, I give you fame. Now that we know you are worth it. Princess Michelle, now that's your name. Princess Michelle, I give you fame. The Lord only knows you deserve it. Princess Michelle, I give you fame. Now that we know you are worth it. Princess Michelle, now that's your name. Princess Michelle, now that's your name. They call this song the Raggle Taggle Gypsies. It's a traditional song and it's done in a lot of ways by a lot of different people. It's a, a song that's very popular among, among travelling people. I think very popular among Irish people as well. This, this is our version of it. Uh, my daughter and myself are singing it and my wife's playing the mandolin and I'm playing the banjo. All three gypsies stood at the castle gate. They sang so high and they sang so low. A lady sat in her chamber. A heart had melted away like snow. Oh, they sang so sweet and they sang so shrill. That soon the tears they began to show She's taken off her suit and gown Her diamond rings and all the shoes Oh, she's thrown away her high heel shoes On the Spanish leather room and she would in the streets in a bare feet road All out in the wind and the weather road. Well, it was late last night when the Lord came home Inquiring of his lady Oh, oh the servant said on every hand She's gone with the rattle tattle gypsies on. You better saddle me, man, the white steed. Come bring me my pony home. That I may ride and seek my bride. She's gone with the rattle tattle gypsies on. He rode high and he rode low Rode to the woods and to the copper stone Until he came to an open field And there he spied his lady 
Oh, what makes you leave your house and land? What makes you leave all your money, oh? And what makes you leave your new wedding hall? To go with the rattle cattle gypsy. And thank you for listening to these songs and tunes. Uh, as you probably noticed, most of them I've written myself from life's experiences and I've tried to keep happy through a lot of uh, things that could have made me unhappy, you know. Anyway, thanks again for listening. God bless you. <laughs>